Hey, what's going on guys? John here, and today I wanted to do a video review on the Autonomous Ergo Chair 2. So I've actually owned this chair now for a number of years, and what I thought I would do in this video is just go over some of the functionality of the chair, talk a little bit about my experience with it, and just give you some of my overall thoughts. So let's first start with the just overall comfort aesthetics of the chair. Um, you have a very large pad here on the base. You can see it has the Autonomous branding here on this little tab. This basically um, has a pretty thick seat. It's overall very comfortable. I found that when sitting in this for multiple hours, you know, I could go six to eight hours sitting in this throughout the day and I'm not really in any discomfort in terms of the actual padding, feeling like it isn't really supporting me. You have two large armrests here on the sides and these are both adjustable so you can actually raise these up or down as needed or even um, left and right as needed. You also have a very large mesh back on this and this has some really good arch support so as you can see, this has a nice curvature here to really support your low back. And then you have a built-in lumbar support here on the base. Um, this basically can be adjusted up or down, but this really provides, when you sit into this, it provides a lot of really good support um, for your low back, whereas you might not normally have this with other chairs. Um, comparing this to, say, like a gaming chair like I had years prior, it was something that just really wasn't supporting my back. You have an adjustable headrest piece here, so you can actually move this up or down as needed as well as adjust it, um, you know, basically to, to make sure you're getting your full neck there. You also have this large arch piece that kind of extends down, it has the autonomous branding, and then you have multiple adjustment points here on the back, so you could actually move this um, pretty much in any direction you want. You could move it forward, you can move it back, you can also tilt the base of the seat. So this has full adjustments here. You can see there's two levers here as well as this to basically make adjustments to either move the seat forward, um, tilt it forward or back. And then you also have um, the lock here. So if you don't wanna have the chair actually move on you, right now that's basically how I have it. It's not gonna um, recline on its own. This way I have the ability that um, if I wanna try to stay in like an upward posture, this is gonna help with that when I lean back. Overall, um, one of the modifications I made to this chair was I replaced the casters with some nicer caster wheels. Um, this is basically a universal fit on the base caster here. So I was able to go in and just simply swap these out and get something a little bit um, nicer. This actually Actually rolls better on like hard floors or even in this case I've got a carpet laid down here that I added later. You have an addition, additional adjustment here. This is basically going to help with the um, height of the seat. So depending on how high you want to go, you can move this around. Overall, I found with this particular chair, um, the comfort on this is really, really good. It's held up really well. As you can see, this one definitely has some wear and tear because I've now been using it for probably going on three plus years. I found that I was having a lot more back issues when using uh, some competing chairs um, that were similar in terms of features, but this is something that really was catering more to someone who that was gonna be in an office all day, just sitting down, and I wanted something that was really gonna help support my back, um, support my posture, and this overall has done a really good job of that. I do recommend tinkering around with some of the settings and just making sure that you get it right based on you know how you actually sit throughout the day. But overall, I think this is something that could help you out a lot um, if you're looking for something that's really more for comfort um, while also giving you some nice office ergonomic style here. Overall, um, really, really awesome chair and I've been very happy with it. Anyway, thanks for checking out my video review and I hope you found it helpful.